world changed one day when all these random cards started raining down everywhere. At first, they seemed harmless enough, so a bunch of us kids invented this cool new game. That's when we realized those cards weren't so harmless after all. They were packed with incredible powers from another world. My name is Dan, and together with my friends Bruno, Marucho, Julie, not to mention Mr. Hotshot himself, Shun, and Alice, we are the, the Bakugan, Bakugan Battle Brothers! Brothers. Bakugan, one goal, two worlds. What are you gonna do? The odds are stacked against you. Back against the wall, you gotta give it your all. This is the final stand. The power's in your hand. Two worlds collide on the inside. You gotta fight for what's right before it's gone. In? Say it ain't so, Joe! Mommy, come here! One of your flowers has died! Mommy! <sighs> What's the emergency? Did one of your dolls break a nail again? Honey, is everything okay? Uh-huh. Bye-bye. Well, here we are, gang. Sunny Cure City. And this is the hospital Chan told us about. Yeah, and according to her, Webmaster Joe should be here. Do you guys really think that Joe might be one of Masquerade's minions? That's what we want to find out. If he is, then he'll have to face the wrath of Prius. I'll give him an uppercut to the chin and a right to the ribs. <laughs> you do that, Prius. Well, I think it's time to find out what the deal is with this creep. Yes, here he is. He's in room 501. That's over in the East Wing, to your left. Yeah, thanks, lady. Ah! <laughs> hey, hold that elevator! Oh, come on! Room 501. It's not even listed. That's what she said. Hey, Drago, that lady said 501, right? Hmm? Drago? Why in the world would Daniel abandon me like that? Please, wait for me! It's no use. I should have learned the art of mobility when I first arrived in this realm. Come on, soldier, look alive! Lift those knees! Move it! Move it! Move it! One, two, one, two, one, two! Count it out! I can't hear you, boy! That's gonna hurt. Come on, soldier! Get your butt back up here! Double time! Are you numbskull? Come down here and help me! Where is that Drago hiding? I say, we forget the little waxer and continue our quest in finding Joe. Maybe we're in the wrong wing of the hospital. Let's try the west wing. No, Alice. The receptionist said the east wing. It's here. What if Dan led us to the wrong one? <gasps> oh, you're right. He's such an idiot. I suggest we find Joe on our own. Bingo. Come on, guys. It's down this way. Looks like this is it. Come in. Yes, Ken. Yeah, uh, is... is this Joe's room? Are you friends of Joe? Yeah, well, kinda. Joe's just out for a few minutes with his doctor. Oh, I see. Uh, we'll come back later. No, please stay. <laughs> He'll be back any minute now. Make yourself at home. Anyone up for some fresh cookies? I made them this morning. Oh, wow, I'd love some. I haven't eaten all day. Uh, no thanks, I'm fine. Oh, please, don't be so shy. Well, okay. Mm. Mm. Yum! Homemade chunky chocolate chip and peanut butter. And there's some kind of yummy nuts. I believe those are macadamians. I hope they're calorie-free, because they're delish. 
I don't think so. I think I'll try one of these. They're so tiny. Julie, please, your manners. <laughs> mm. Wow, yummy. It's like so heavenly. <gasps> it's so nice to see Joe has such wonderful friends. Huh? <gasps> Joe should be getting out of the hospital any day now, and all he does is stare out the window and wish he were back at home. So what's Joe's prognosis? Oh, he's fine. He's just in here for some tests. His doctor says he just needs a little rest. I must say, my Joe is one tough little trooper. Oh. Oh, <sighs> oh snap. I'm tired of this. Where'd you go, Drago? Huh? Is this what you're looking for? Drago! Daniel! I can't believe it! Where'd you find him? Hey, what's the big idea, Drago? Never take off on me again! Excuse me, uh, mister, uh, but you're the one who dropped me! Ignore him. He's a little cranky. I appreciate you finding him, but how'd you know I was looking for him? Because you were looking for me. Right, Dan? Uh, then you must be Joe! <laughs> That's me. Oh, man! I got so many questions for you! Huh? You wanna come up to the roof, Dan? Huh? <sighs> Isn't this great? I just love it up here, and the view is awesome. I'm not big into heights. Hate to change the subject, but let's. I gotta know if you're in cahoots with that creep. <laughs> I remember the day I found my Bakugan. It was a day almost exactly like today. Huh? It was right in the middle of summer. I was here for tests and sitting on that bench over there. Huh? I searched the web to find out what it was. That's when I saw kids blogging about their battles. Then, I created my homepage so everyone would have a place to log on and chat about their Bakugan brawls. It's funny, but you were one of the first to log on. Shun was next to visit my site, then Runo, Marucho, and Julie showed up. You and Shun started thinking up the rules? <laughs> you two were on fire coming up with all the regulations. It was so simple and completely brilliant to watch. I didn't come all the way here to chit-chat. All I want to know is if you're working for Masquerade or not. You think I'm somehow connected with Masquerade? All I'm saying is, Masquerade seems to know everything that the brawlers are doing. And because all of us only chat on your website, it's the only way I figure he could get that kind of information. There's a snitch, and we want to find out who. And I hate to be the one pointing the finger, but... Looks like it's you, Joe! Are you the snitch? Hey, better fess up now before I get mad. Now I'm mad! <laughs> I could simply answer your question, but that would be too easy. Instead, I think I have a better idea. How about... We make it a little more interesting, Dan. <laughs> huh. Are you saying you want to brawl? Stick around. There's more Bakugan Battle Brawlers right after these messages. And now back to Bakugan Battle Brawlers! You wanna brawl, huh? Well, yeah, let's do it! You're on! Field open! Oh, wow! This is so amazing! Are you saying this is the first time you've ever played Bakugan? Uh... Hey! You want to battle or not? It's better than I imagined. It's like I'm inside a dream. Huh? This is really your first time, then. I'll start. Gate card set! Huh? Gate card set! Ah! I don't care if this is your first time, Joe. I'm gonna play to who? Huh? Back to Gun Brawl! Ah! Oh, hell, Siege! Stand! <laughs> Chaos Siege enters battle at 280 Gs. Now my turn! 
Here goes! That's so cool! Huh? I never imagined my seed would be so big! Ugh, why me? I hate rookies. Don't let his inexperience blind you, Daniel. This is amazing! <laughs> this kid is totally messing up my Bakugan rhythm. Bakugan! Oh! Tuscor, stand! Pyrus Tuscor! Tuscor enters battle. Ability card, activate! No slap, right? Huh? No slap is an ability especially suited for your Tuscor. It allows a player to attack an adjacent zone. You're going to throw it, right, Dan? Well, yeah. Hey, uh, Siege! You better watch out for his Tuscor's trunk! This dude is totally wearing on me. No slap! <laughs> This is a brawl. The colors, the sound, intense! Oh! Looks like I won that one, Joe. But that was only round one, Dan. Now things start to get interesting. Back on brawl! Roma Italian, stand! Ability card activate! Roma Italian enforcement! Robotalian power level at 390Gs. Thanks for the update, Bakupod. I like what you're putting down, but watch and learn! Bakugan Troll! Griffin, stand! Griffin enters battle at 350Gs. Oh, you purposely threw down a lower power level, Bakugan, and now you're gonna use your Wing Burst ability. <gasps> Wing burst ability increases your Bakugan by 50 Gs, while at the same time decreases your opponent's by the exact same amount as your increase. Right again, Einstein! But just how are you gonna counter it? Ability card, activate! Wing burst! Wing burst activated. Uh, get him, Griffin! My turn again! Gate card, open! Robotalian power increase. Oh. Yes, I did it! I won my first battle! Hey, Joe, when you're done celebrating, can we get on with it? All right, here we go. Dan! Bakugan, brawl! Ah. Robotalian, stand! Okay, time to kick it into high gear. Okay, Draco, finish this. I shall. Ha! Bakugan, brawl! Ha! Draco, stand! I, I can't believe it! Is that the evolved version of the Pyrus Dragonoid in the flesh? Oh, yeah! This is so cool! I've read about you, Drago, but I never thought I'd see you for real. You ain't seen nothing yet, pal. Okay, Drago, time to show him what you got. <laughs> Gate card open. Level down. Drago power decrease detected. What do you think, Dan? My ability dropped your Bakugan by 100 Gs. Not bad for a rookie, huh? Nice try, Joe. Ability card activate. Fire Tornado! My ability lets me increase my power level by 100 Gs and drops my opponents by the same amount. Fire Tornado detected. Now for the coup de grace! Drago won because he's evolved to a higher power level, right? <laughs> Hey, you're smarter than you look. Now listen up! You lose the next battle and you have to spill it about you and Masquerade. Got it? Yeah, sure. But first, you gotta win. Bakugan! Uh. <sighs> 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 Hang in there! 
here, Joe. You're gonna be just fine. You'll have to wait here. Dan! Huh? What's the deal? How bad is it? Just a fainting spell. Low blood sugar is what the doctor said. His mother said he wasn't supposed to do anything that might be too strenuous. You were there, Dan. What exactly happened when he collapsed? We were right in the middle of a battle, and the next thing I know, he's down! Oh, man. This is all my fault. If I knew the guy was gonna keel over, I never would have battled him. I just hope he's... okay. Hey, this isn't your fault. Don't blame yourself, Dan. <sighs> Guys, come here and check this out. Joe here, and if you ever meet a player named Masquerade, and he challenges you to a brawl, please, just say no. All he wants to do is send you back a gun to the Doom Dimension. What is that? It's a video that I downloaded from Joe's website that he sent to all the top players around the world. As a warning? Yes. Then that must mean Joe isn't... Isn't working together with Masquerade after all. Joe is on our side. Sheesh, that's what I've been saying all along. Uh, how is he? They should know better in the morning. Huh? I want to know right now! I'm going to ask the doctor myself! You're side. not going anywhere, mister! You're going to wait right here like everyone else! I can't wait! i got to know right now! Man, I wish there was something I could do for Joe. All this waiting is driving me nuts! I must say, my Joe is one tough little trooper. <gasps> hey, Mom. Morning. How's it going? Joe, you're all better! It's nice to see you up and around, Joe. We were worried about you. Ah, uh, it's really no big deal. I'm ready to brawl again. Huh? I want to feel the way I felt when I battled you, Dan. You see, way out here in Kier City, we don't have any top-ranked players. But then you came to see me, it was like the greatest feeling ever. Hey, if you wanted to battle me, you should have said so in the first place. You sure didn't have to pretend you were working for Masquerade. <laughs> Sorry about that. Actually, I should be the one that's apologizing for ever thinking something like that. Oh yeah, I found the Infinity Core. Huh? Yeah, I saw it in one of my dreams. Where am I? Huh? Uh, huh? What are you? Some kind of... Bakugan? Yes, my name is Waver. Waver? You must never give the Infinity Core to Naga. Huh? The Infinity Core and the Silent Core are the two entities that preserve the balance of Vestroya. The Silent Core has taken over Naga. And in order to restore balance, the Infinity Core has taken over me. So that means the Infinity Core is... Is within me. Remember, never give the Infinity Core to Naga! Waver! Wait! Whoa, some story! Wavern is Naga's twin sister! Hmm, interesting, but not surprising. So where did this Wavern disappear to, Joe? Sorry, but she just vanished. Oh, man. Interesting. This means we don't have to look for the Infinity Core anymore. Huh? As long as the Infinity Core stays hidden inside Wavern, it's another level of protection against Naga. And that means there's one thing all of us have to do. Our Bakugan have to evolve into their ultimate form before Hydronoid. To protect us from Naga nabbing the Infinity Core. Mm-hmm. Boy, I sure wish I could go with you guys. Huh? But I'm stuck in here for the next couple of days. Don't sweat it! From here on out, you're a part of the Brawlers! Huh? I showed everyone the cool video warning you posted on your website! 
And you're forgetting we really need you to help us track down Wayburn and the Infinity Corps. I told you you were part of the team, Joe. It means you're a brawler. Forever. Oh. I, I... I don't know what to say. But thanks. Welcome aboard, Joe. Yeah. <laughs> you just wait, Masquerade. We're gunning for you. And when we find you, you're going down. That is good news, Doctor. Joe's good to go. Perfect health. In fact, he passed all his tests with flying colors. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Mom, please. <laughs> Now to get on with my new job, finding Wavern. Alice here, and on the next Bakugan Battle Brawlers, it's time for a little stretching and maybe a casual stroll through town. Wait, who's that? It's Christopher, who hates to Bakugan battle. You see, his friends used to force him to play, and he'd always lose. That left him totally bummed about Bakugan. I mean, who would want to lose all the time? But I've got a plan. What if I played him and let him win? But who's playing who here? You'll have to check it out to see on the next Bakugan Battle Brawlers. See you there.